Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. The devs have fixed the stuck item bug. Oh, I am so fantastically happy with this. Oh, my lord. Uh, right, there's furthermore, there's a couple of things we can do. Uh, namely, we can just apparently right click on these and destroy them. Can I? There. There we go. Can I, um, can, am I able to. Does that. There we go. It works. Okay, so we can uh, grab a couple of these things. Uh, I'm gonna keep one of each. That's fine. Uh, the blood and well, all of that that can that can stay, I guess. Uh, but one of the items which doesn't stack each, that should be okay. Let's get rid of you. Come on, there we go. Perfect. And indeed, well, there there we go. Sort of perfect, kind of perfect in a way. Right there we are. Okay, so we're gonna be heading. Uh, we've got a corpse that we need to go and deal with. Uh, we'll be getting there shortly. Uh, right, it takes 10 fuel for a hundred uh, worth of fuel. Uh, sorry, 10 coal for a hundred worth of fuel in the forge. That's actually amazing. Let's drop that off. We don't need to be bringing that with us where we're going. Uh, the flitch can go in there too. The nails can go in there as well. We've got a couple of odds and sods. Um, Sure, let's uh, get some firewood made. We'll get some more stuff going in the oven, I should imagine. There we are. Is there anything else on me right now I want to drop off? Uh, yeah, we'll drop these things off there. There we go. And we'll just refuel the fire in the kitchen as well. And that will be a pretty good start to the day, I would say. Mind you, it's midday. So, it actually, not so much a start to the day as using the entire day up. Not the best of things, really, when you think about it. We do have a body down here that has been safely stowed on the pallet there. We cannot pop this this uh, pallet here. A couple of people have mentioned in the comments that they would like to see me pop the pallet there so that the corpse will fall on it. The, the pallet is already as close as it is possible for the pallet to be. And unfortunately, there's nothing further we can do with that. So it's just not going to happen that way. It would be a little bit too cheeky, I suppose. There we are, and we've now got a very, very nice little little corpse here. Uh, we should have enough time, I would say, to go and get this this uh, buried. Yeah, there we are. We'd already dug a grave, nice and ready for it. That's that's cool. Uh, let's pop you in there, womp, and then bury it as well. There we go. Perfect. Got a burial certificate as well. Do I happen to have a gravestone? No, I don't. I'll make one a little bit later. But, um, for now then, let's, let's go and have a quick look. What were the items that I needed next, of all things? Uh, we want... We currently got a study table, I believe that's what we have over there. Uh, we want the church workbench. So, ten nails for complex iron parts. So, that's a, that's a bit of a step up from what we're going to be working on just yet. So, oh well. We'll have to look into that. For now, though... We're gonna head out into the uh, into the the swamp, to the left of the church. In fact, you know what? Let's see if we can do a little bit of fishing, shall we? Since apparently we don't need to have any uh, any baits for this location, we'll give it a shot. See if if that actually does work out that way. That that is fantastic. Uh, can't grab that yet. Oh, really? Really? Uh, fish as well like the others in the you can find the village, river, swamp, and sea. Well, I I'm gonna have to go and deal with the with the the corpse. I am a graveyard keeper, not a fisherman. All right, I've got to keep my my priorities right. And it's already nighttime. My goodness, the day's already gone. I barely used any of my energy up. It's a little bit of a disappointment, I'll be honest with you. By a little bit, I mean actually quite a lot. Quite a lot of a disappointment. Well, what we're gonna do then is we'll pop this into onto the pallet so that it stops decaying any further there we go then i'm gonna go back i'm gonna dig out a grave ready since i know i'm gonna have a corpse to put in it which is the, the main thing we're gonna want a couple of items ready to make this into the best grave we possibly can so first and foremost let's dig this grave we're gonna want a headstone we're ideally gonna want a uh, wooden fence as well a wooden surrounding fence but We've still got half of our energy here to play with. Let's go and grab some stone, shall we? 
just down here so that we can make some nice tombstones. If, in fact, there's any stone down here to grab. Yeah, it looks like we've got a little bit. I should be okay then. Let's grab you. And we'll still have half the night to, to rest. We've got a little bit over here as well. Fine, I accept. There we go. Perfect. I'm hoping there's going to be somewhere where we can gather stones in the quarry. Um, otherwise, we're starting to run low on on supplies here. We're actually starting to run really low on those supplies. That's going to be pretty rough for us. Uh, let me jump into bed quickly. Oh, there we go. We might be able to get most of our energy back before dawn. Hopefully, because we've got the sermon today. Ah, glorious, glorious tea. There we go. Chai today, should you be uh, should you be wondering. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. Uh, I don't have anything else to use there, unfortunately. But we are going to make two, uh, well, one new tombstone. We've only got one to make. That's a bit of a potch, but all right. There we are. And how much flitch do we need to make a plank? Only one. That's fine, then. Make a plank. Womp. Let's get uh, another bunch of flitch. We could make a regular tombstone if we really wanted to. So-so on that one. So-so. Uh, I might, in fact, instead make a wooden grave marker. Uh, no, actually. We, we can hold off on that, I think. That shouldn't be too much. We need some extra nails, though. Uh, and we do need nails for quite a few things, actually. So, sure, let's get the nails made. We're already starting to run low. On food, which is a bit of a potch, but uh, oh well. There we are. And I would like a. I could make a wooden cross. Actually, I'm gonna have to use one nail for it, but. Hmm. Sure, we can do this. We can most definitely do this. Let's make another wooden plank. Okay, well, that's. You know, that that's not so bad. Sure, let's make a wooden cross. I'm gonna be using nails on this one, but. Uh. It, it's, you know, six of one and half a dozen the other, basically. Eat another muffin, because I've got to get that food in me. There we go. That's all I can realistically afford to do. Let's get on the way. We don't have long before we've got to do the sermon. We've probably got enough time to get the uh, corpse ready, I should imagine. I may have left it a little bit late, though. Just a wee bit late. We'll see. Uh, let's uh, quickly remove the blood and then the fat. Come on, Day. Don't be gone yet. Not, not yet. Not like this. Come on. Need a little bit more food. Empty the table. I do like they've changed that from take out to empty. Oh, damn it. To uh, empty. Uh, I may just throw this in the grave and then rush in and do the sermon. I don't think I've got enough time to prepare the graves properly, which is a big shame. But at the very least, it's not going to be a negative grave. Let's go quickly, 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 quickly. Uh. We might be able to do it. Uh, it looks like we can, so... Oh, no! I forgot to grab them! I was in such a rush. Wasting time. So much time wasted. Uh, let's grab this, the casual prayer. I'll grab the cookies. No, I can't grab the cookies. Oh, well, maybe I can. Let's grab them and see if I can use them. I think the day is about to change, though. If I'm not stupendously fast... Can I use this on my hotbar, I wonder? Go, no, go, go away. I don't want to destroy it, though. Please, don't force me to destroy it. Uh, let's use that. And uh, let's go. It didn't seem to actually make any difference, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, probably need more pews to allow more parishioners. I was hoping that maybe by eating the cookie just before... It would affect it in some way, but it doesn't look like it has. And now let's pray for this blessing. We've got a 50-50 chance of succeeding. I'm just glad that we managed to do this at all, frankly. We were cutting it super fine. Hmm. Looks like another failure for us. I'm just shame. Your donations are welcome, though. Great sermons. Now, how much are we going to get? Because our, our graveyard is looking pretty swanky. 42. Oh, that's not too bad. That's ah, not bad at all, ultimately. It could have been a lot better, mind you. Sure. If we pop... Can I, can I... No? That doesn't look like a thing that I can move around then. Okay, well, we'll be back in here in a moment. Let's grab my money. There we are. And we'll place down 
everything we need. It's already night time, which is a shame, really. Looking at yourself in the mirror right now. Uh, let's get you sorted. There we are. And you as well. And then I need to find another grave that I'm going to put one of the uh, wooden crosses on. This one looks to be the one that we're going to use. Oh, if only we had managed to do this first. That We would have gotten much more money. Uh, I need a little bit more energy. There we are. A little bit more besides as well. Okay, well, th those, those cookies weren't exactly great. I'll be honest. Not exactly brilliant. Uh, still, at the very least, we did manage to get uh, the sermon done. So we haven't shirked our responsibilities, at the very least. Though, uh, let me grab that out of this, this holy area. Let's not leave that there. Also go and collect this faith as well. There we are. Now what do I need for the pews? I can't do the pews yet. I need I need um, spiritual power for that, I believe, to even unlock the, the technology. So we're a little ways off from that, but for the time being, it's not not awful. Alright, well, it's we're almost all the way through the day, so there's not much point in me trying to uh, get away from that. We did get uh, a, a... I think Comrade Donkey dropped off a body. Ooh, very badly. Badly decayed there. Hmm. We might have to struggle with this one. Uh, no, we, we're going to be able to save it, I think. Actually, just... All right, not bad. We're getting good at this gravekeeping malarkey, I think. We're getting actually quite uh, quite practiced at it, but we're not going to pop you onto into one of the graves just yet. We're going to pop you down there. I'll bury you later. We'll try and work through the day, I think, and we'll see how we can uh, how well we can do with that. Uh, ooh, oh oh oh. If I made a... No, it's fine. We can still dig this one. I thought I'd made a silly with where I'd placed that. But no, no, it's important. There we go. Womp. Bet it in a bit. For now, let's... Uh, yeah, we're going to dig into our muffin supplies. We're going to go and fish, damn it. And if Comrade Donkey delivers another corpse... Is my official response to that. My official response is... Ah... They? Oh, actually, a couple of people in the comments have suggested that I need to uh, hold it start casting. That I I should go ahead and ooh, okay, all right, it's gonna work. No, okay, well let's start fishing again. But I need to talk with the bishop. There's apparently something there, a new quest for me. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Just hang up for a little bit. Oh, minus three, okay. Uh, let's keep it close up. Have I got it? Oh, oh, it's basically Stardew. Ah, oh. oh my lord, this is amazing. Stardew fishing. Perfect. 100% there. Oh, let's see what else we've got in here. And what have we got here? Now, okay. oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Let's see. When are you going to move? And you're gonna move. This is even a little bit harder than starting fishing, frankly. But same overall mechanic, I would say. All right, not bad. Let's go for you. Bump. We'll see what it is. We've only got a, a small percentage chance to get the other type of fish in the uh, first area. I like the fishing here. Oh, we failed. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. All of my Stardew cred, gone. Instantly. Uh, let's keep this up. Come on, then, you. Show yourself. Show yourself. There we go. Hello. Hello. What have we got? We've got a toad. A frog. We've got a frog. We haven't got a toad. We've got a frog. Very well. Mm, we need some more actual stone, though. So let's uh, grab some of this. Almost coming up to uh, night time, though. Uh, sure, I'll grab this too, then, if you want to. I guess. What's my inventory like? Uh, my inventory's okay. I need some iron next. We've run out of iron ore. So, we could go and gather that at the swamp just north of our house. Can I mine stone over there? No, I can't. That's a bit of a shame. But, uh, okay. Let's see what we can get over here. Oof. It's taking a bit of effort. Mind you, we have improved our pickaxe, so it's not taking 
as much effort as it might otherwise. Now, what are we going to get? We are going to get a gigantic iron block, rather than a regular iron block. So, this is where we actually need to start cutting these things down. However, I don't believe that we have prepared the right kind of uh, tool for that, unfortunately. I'll see. This might actually fit in the um, storage, the stone storage, but that might be for large stone blocks rather than for large iron uh, ore chunks. Hmm. We may have a conundrum on our hands. We may have a conundrum. But I can finally make some actual meat food that isn't made of people. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel like I am restoring my uh, my my good person nature. Uh, maybe I can't put it there. Okay, so what do I need? What do I need for you? I need a stone cutter. No, increase your space. Stone stockpile. No. Sawhorse. No. Hmm. I believe I may need a technology actually. At any rate, though, let's let's go and have a have a quick sleep. Let's have a quick sleep because it is getting on. <sighs> There we are. We'll probably get full energy before the night is out. Right. Okay. So, let's wake up. There we are. Right. So, technology-wise, here we are. We want the ore cutter. That is what we want. Let's go ahead and unlock that and then find out what I need to, to use to make it. Have a look. Ore cutter. Not much. Ooh. Except it's gigantic. That is unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna need to expand our space then. And I'm gonna need so many. Oh no. Well, you're just gonna have to sit here for now then. Um, cause I, I'm fairly certain I can't use you in here. No, I can't. Uh, you'll have to live there then. It is a shame, I know, but it's. I'm gonna have to just get the the iron parts. At the, at the very least, I can go out and I can gather more iron up here. Or at least I should be able to. Yeah, there we are. That should be fine. We'll gather some iron, and then we can, well, in fact, we'll gather a couple of iron ores here. Uh, so we can still gather it. It's just, it would be better if we could just break it down uh, using the ore cutter. There we are. And in fact, now that this pickaxe is so much better, we're going to be able to, literally, we can get twice as much done. Not necessarily in the same day, though. We can just get twice as much done of the same amount of energy. Well, that's important to note, because the, the time is still moving past crazy fast. So that's not going to necessarily help us. Oh, wow, that was that was really good. But wow, we're actually clearing this whole area up, and we barely even uh, touched our energy. But we're a good way. Well, actually, you know what? We're not that far through the morning. Hmm. I wonder if this also affects time. Like, uh, time progresses just a little bit faster based on the amount of energy. Maybe time moves forward based on energy. Or at least when you're performing a task. Oh, drat. What am I carrying that I don't need to be carrying? Uh, I am carrying... Hmm. I'm carrying some blood that I don't need to be carrying, realistically. Destroy. Yep. Destroy. Yep. Goodbye. And grab all of this iron ore. And at that point, we're not going to have to go out hunting for iron for quite some time, I would say. Uh, frankly, we're not going to be able to smelt all of this iron for quite some time. Uh, we're, we've probably got enough iron there to, to last us for quite a while, actually. We're not going to have to worry about that ore, ore cutter, certainly. Can I gather from that stone? No, that stone is uh, protected by the tree. The tree spirits are guarding that stone specifically. That is not our stone. That is the forest's stone, and we shall not be touching it. Right, okay. I would very much like it if you could make me some ingots. And whilst you're doing that, I'm going to drop off all of this. There we go. Let's get all of this in there, if we can. That's marvellous. Uh, the nails as well, actually. All right, let's go in and see what we can do with the frogs and the fishes. Ah, uh, good times. We can make white fish fillet. Uh, there we are. And get you as well. We have filleted the fish. And... Oh, I need three frogs for that. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, that's, that's not too bad, at least I know. Let's drop those off too. Now, what can I make with that? Let's have a quick look. We can make fried eggs if we wanted to. Uh, I'm not particularly eager for that just yet. Uh, meat, there we go. We need seed oil. Alright, then we can have fish nuggets. Uh, or we can just make baked fish. 
So that'll use all of our fish up. Fish soup. This is actually quite nice, but uh, sure. We'll get that on the go. Ah, oh, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But we are going to have to put a lot of work in to get all those metal parts we need to uh, expand out our area, unfortunately. Right, the pallet should have protected this corpse from decaying any further, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and pop you down, do a little bit of autopsy. Wow. Oh, right, yes, of course, we, we'd already prepared the corpse. Uh, we just needed a little bit more time to prepare everything out of the uh, Let's get this one into the grave so it stops decaying, and then I'll go straight back and deal with the other corpse. And actually, I'll dig the other grave, because it's not going to decay enough to uh, actually make any difference early on. But yes, we're most definitely going to need to uh, exhume some of these corpses, fix our earlier mistakes. Honestly, uh, I probably would play this game very differently from the onset, knowing what I know now. Knowing how the way the autopsies work, knowing the way that the, uh, the quality of the graves is decided. And so, for those who are a little bit concerned that if uh, this, the, the save does break, whether I'll replay through the, the part of the game that I've already gone through. Yes, I will, probably the first time, uh, and, and, and any other time if significant changes have happened, or I feel that I've learned so much that it'll make for a very different uh, gameplay. I'd be very interested in how far I could get um, with, with just with knowing what I know now. But in terms of things, like, for example, if something were to, uh, the, the, the game were to break, uh, game fa uh, save was to break. Ooh, can I not do that one? I have to do it from this side, I take it. There we go. And very little has changed. Then no, I, I, won't, be, uh, I won't be playing through that on camera. I'll just go straight. Uh, I'll just play up to that point off camera and continue from there. So in a nutshell, I'll replay the game if there's something worthwhile to showcase. But otherwise, uh, I, I won't be making a priority out of that. All right, let's get another iron ingot on the go. And we're going to want more nails. There we are. Now it is almost dawn, unfortunately for me. Uh, that should be fine for now. Let's uh, just go ahead, tuck in for a little bit of sleep in the morning. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so happy they fixed that. That was genuinely starting to grate on my nerves. Ah, okay, my energy is definitely slowing down. We can probably just go ahead and, and get up, though. We don't need to sleep the whole night through. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wake up there. We don't actually need to do too much. Uh, we've got four, uh, four burial certificates, actually. That's pretty cool. Let's drop those off. Let's uh, also move down the baked fish there as well. I've got some blood that I want to drop off in the trunk down here. I probably want another trunk before too long, if I'm honest. Uh, just because we're getting so many stacks of blood and fat. It's the, it's the chief thing that we take out of people. Right, let's go along. I'm going to need advanced metal parts, and that is, that is quite the pain. That's quite the pain. Is there anything I can build here that I want to build? Sawhorse, we've already got. We don't need that. Uh, ten combat iron parts. That's going to be very expensive. That's going to be painful to do. Still, likely worth doing it. I could just go ahead and make a couple of wood repair kits, but honestly, I'd rather keep that for now. Let's instead look at what's going to be required to build up our farm. So a garden with sticks. Uh, oh, right. Can I make a trunk here? I can. Yeah, so two uh, simple iron parts, eight nails, eight flitch. That won't be a problem. We'll pop the trunk down there, and then I can store things in it to build from. So, ooh, we need a, a new log. I uh, can't chop you down. Let's see if I can chop you down instead. Mm, can I unlock that? Can I unlock woodcutter? No, I can't. Right, okay then. Uh, we can, however... Ooh, we can go for the, the anvil blueprint. Yes, unlock that. We can make the metal work. I can make a new sword. This is marvellous. I can also make glass. Also marvellous. I will get you, and I'll get you, because I've got so many points. There we are. Okay, what's required to make a uh, an anvil, then? Go ahead. Let's see what we need to make an anvil. Uh, right, regular anvil, just four iron ingots. Okay, we're going to save up for that, because then I can make the advanced iron parts myself. Which is going to be fantastic. And then we can expand this out. Oh, that, that works so much better. But I do want the simple iron parts. 
I want the nails. The I'm gonna need to go and get a, a tree chopped down. Simple iron parts for now. Uh, we'll probably go and hack that one down. Uh, right after we go and check out the new corpse that's been delivered by Comrade Donkey, keeping us in some money. Thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. Though soon we're going to get to the point where we simply can't store the corpses any further. Now, given that, we may need to leave the very last corpse exposed. In the grave, but not... not uh, see the little drat. Okay, well, this is a bit of an awkward one, no matter what we do. Um, so, given that, I'll remove the skin. We're going to consider this one a loss. We can't make it a perfect corpse, so this is going to be a, a harvesting corpse. Uh, we There is a small chance that if we remove the brain, it's going to sort this out, because it'll take uh, skulls away at random. Yeah, okay. I'll accept that. We've now got a four skull pure corpse. Perfect. There we are. And remove the fat as well. That worked out quite well for us, I think. I mean, it's not a great corpse. Certainly not. But it is a pure corpse, for all intents and purposes. Just like a brain. Shh. No one needs to know. No one needs to know. It would just upset people to know. We don't want to upset people. No. So, you keep my secret, then everyone's happy. Or, well, I mean, you won't be happy. But it's not like you're sad. But the family would be very sad if they found out that I stole the brain. They'd be even more sad if they found out what I'm going to do with the skin. So, yeah, it's just... Sometimes you just, you just gotta... The best way of being kind... It's just to not let anyone know. Okay? It's, it works out better this way. What they don't know isn't going to make them sad. Right, we want to sleep. Quite badly. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Sleeping at night? It's rather awkward. Rather awkward, I must say. There we go. Coming into daytime. A little bit of uh, choppiness. I've noticed a couple of people have actually mentioned that, that the latest update does cause a little bit of choppiness here and there. I'm not really sure why. Like, what, uh, what is playing at that, but, uh, while we're here, I can make glass out of river sand. Or water. Alright. I'm gonna need more coal, though. And there's nothing that's gonna change that, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to go and grab that. I don't think we've got enough iron parts, so we're gonna have to leave that. Oh, damn, really? Uh, I have no idea what all this is for. No idea, no clue what that's good for. Um, but we are going to make some firewood here, so let's get that done. And we'll go and drop that off. That'll clear up one little space in there. I may have to get rid of... Oh, the stick. Wait, no, 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 not all of it. I just want one. Just one is all I want. And then we can drop off the nails. There we are, and... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, also, the other thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to get rid of the rusty pickaxe. Thinking about it. Can I just take one? There we are. Perfect. That's so much better. Then I'm just going to destroy those. So that one can go away. Destroy it, please. No, no, I want to destroy it. There we go. It has to think sometimes. Like, well, do you really want to destroy it? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I selected it. But, but are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I, I generally don't try to destroy things unless I'm sure. When, when the, the destroying option is is usually the point where you destroyed the skin. I wanted the skin. You scoundrel! Oh well. Um. Yeah. No, oh, that's annoying. But oh well. Uh. Clearly, we need to work on that one a little bit. But, you know what? It's still a massive upgrade over what it was before, so I'm not going to hold it against it. There we are. I need to go and... Oh, it's already night time. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. But, alright. I'm... Oh, hello. Thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. This is like the last corpse that I'm going to be able to take, I think. Fairly certain it is the last corpse I'm going to be able to take. So, at that point, we are going to... Well, I guess it's just we're going to get a lot of skin. And the river is going to get a lot of sacrificial humans. We're honouring the spirits. Uh, by the way, the prevailing theory about where the, all the bodies are coming from, if we recall that there was mention of the, the boat of the dead in the harbour, it seems that 
We're not just taking the dead from the town. It's quite possible we're taking the dead from many towns. Hence the constant deliveries. Though it would suggest that we're not the only graveyard as well. So there we are. Uh, since we're re all, you know, we're not really destroying that many. There we go. Let's see if we can't destroy on the tile. Destroy blood? Yes, thank you. Right, rusty pickaxe is going to be sold. Uh, we need more coal. So let's go and go and grab some of that. We've got two fish that we can eat anyway. In fact, let's just gobble those down. They're not quite as good as the muffins, but then the muffins take more components. We really do need to grab some more honey as well, uh, so that we can, in fact, get more muffins. And then we'll go and buy a lot more wheat. It seems a reasonable um, game loop so far. It's not nothing too out there. All right, we're going to spend the night um, digging away at this this uh, coal seam, I think. Uh, until we get the ore cutter, there's no point in us digging away at the iron seam. Well, that's 26 coal. I believe it was uh, every 10 gave us 100 fuel. So, yeah, we'll, we'll spend much of the night here. Now we've actually got a better tool. This is so much more efficient. Uh, except, can I not grab them all? Is it completely broke? Ah, uh, it is. That's just annoying. I guess we'll use this one for now then. That, that got damaged quite quickly. Oh well. That's fine though. Uh, but we're going to use up a lot more of my energy gathering all this. And it's taking forever to dig through it too. Hmm. I wonder if the efficiency isn't just... Because it's very easy to, to say, oh well yeah, it's just a measure of how much energy you use. No, I think they might be two separate stats. The efficiency is how much progress along the meter the tool makes with each use, and energy is just how much energy that tool uses every time you use it. Uh, that would make a lot of sense in a way, and that would double down on how much more important it is to get to the better tools. But we are completely out of energy, and it is data. Uh, oh well, there's worse things that could happen, I suppose. Uh, I am going to use. Well, no, I'm not going to use the last of my muffins to take care of that, actually. We're, we're going to leave it there and see if Comrade Donkey drops off more, more corpses. Comrade Donkey might not, and if that's the case, then that's fine by me. But we are going to have to sleep through the morn. Uh, I know, it, 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 does, it does rankle, considering how inefficient it is, but... Still, we got a lot of stone, and we actually got a lot of, uh, of coal as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's make sure that you're always making more. There we go. Let's go through and just fill this thing up completely. There we are. We shouldn't need to do anything for a while now. So go ahead. Make me more iron. And with that, we're going to go to sleep. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. This is a little bit more of a uh, of, of just a grindy one that I'm used to, but uh, <laughs> it looks like we're going to sleep all the way around tonight. Uh, it's just like real life. When your sleep schedule gets all wonky, it could take a while to reset it, but oh well, I, I guess we'll, we'll make do. Ooh, Comrade Donkey has brought more corpses. So, the theory is wrong. Hmm. We're going to have to see what that means for us in the next episode. But thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.